guys what's up welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is sky and i make simple beauty style content here on youtube and instagram on my blog and everywhere else in today's video i'll be doing a makeup tutorial using black nigerian owned beauty brands and this entire nude look is super inspired by makeup sheila and ujela toro these are two black creators that i really, really love and I admire and they are super stunning and you know if you follow them that their makeup always always bangs like they have everything on lock from base to eyes to lashes to everything and i really like those ladies so this entire look is inspired by them i also used some techniques from nikki makeup she's not black but i really like how she does her makeup she's super super talented and i did my eyeshadow the way she normally um, do hers and i really like how it came out so i'm going to show you how i achieved this entire look and also some new techniques that i learned of recent so i've prepped my face and applied some color corrector i don't have black owned primer setting spray and a color corrector so i've used the elegant color corrector and i've used the rimmel london primer i don't have nigerian or black owned brands for those items i will fix up i'll buy black owned versions of those items very very soon in the meantime let's get ahead with the look so i'm going to go ahead now and apply foundation but before that i will be setting my entire face or presetting my entire face with some translucent powder this is the glam girls banana luxury powder that i always use so i'll be using that all over my face very very lightly before i go over it with my foundation so as usual i'll be using my flawless iv full coverage foundation in the shade honey that i always use this is black owned nigerian owned so it's perfect for this look so i'll be applying that all over my face And then I'm going to blend it all out with some sponge. I have applied some setting spray so it's damp. So I'll just go over my entire face. Now for my concealer, I'll be using a Nigerian-owned, black-owned makeup brand and this is called Tara. If you're Nigerian, you definitely know House of Tara. So this is an OG brand. This Tara is like the sleek makeup of the Nigerian beauty space. That's what Tara is. They are OGs, their quality is great, they are affordable, they are available everywhere. And I'm super excited to try their products finally. So this is their Pro Concealer and this is the shade TC06. is perfect for my under eye not too bright it's not as yellow as I was looking to get but this also works it's a very neutral toned um, color as you can see which is alright so it's a liquid concealer so I'll be leaving it to settle in for like a few seconds before I go over it with a beauty sponge to blend I'm not gonna go over it with another layer. This is perfect for me. In case you wanted to go over it with a more like fuller layer, you can go over it. It seems like something that can be buildable, but I'm okay with it as is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some more at the outer edges of my eyes because I want that side of my eyes snatched when I'm done. So I'm just setting that area with some powder my sponge is damp as I showed you in my other video so I'm just going over that area with my setting powder this is the same one that I use the glam girls banana setting powder in case you can hear any noise it's beginning to rain now but I don't think I'm going to stop this video so I apologize for the noise yeah the rain is really really coming down heavy but this show must go on
so for my brows i will be using the glams makeup line it's not the same with the glam girls powder this is a different brand but also black owned not nigerian owned but still black owned so i'll be using their uh, lineup at brow pencil it's a very very dark brown pencil but it's very warm so it's that kind of what i would normally use but i figured this would be okay it's the shade is vitamin 838 and it's super super dark super super pigmented but very warm so i'll be going over my brows with it very very lightly let me brush this out first So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the brows with the same concealer that I used. I'm being very light handed with this because I don't want anything extra. So now for the fun part of this glowing nude look, I'll be using the Flawless Ivy Dab Girl Eyeshadow Palette. So I just lined my eyes with some gel liner and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush out the line. Nikki Makeup does this all the time and I love the way it comes out on her models. It's a very high fashion type technique but I really love how it looks. I'm gonna try and replicate it the best way that I know how to. So I'm just brushing out that line that I've created and I hope it comes out well. Okay, this Kiss Beauty liner that I used seems like it's too thick, like it's too hard. So it's very hard to blend out basically. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm going to keep doing this until I'm satisfied. makeup does this so effortlessly like it's so simple and effortless for her and it gives her models such nice eye shape anyway this is the best that i can do right now i'm just gonna leave it as is it's far from perfect go to nikki makeup speed to see how exactly it's done this is not how it's done but anyway so to soften up that line and create the base for this entire sculpted eye look i'll be going in with the flawless ivy damn girl eyeshadow palette this one i really like the name and it's so fun anyway the colors inside are brown and nudes and pinks and purples basically the colors that look amazing on dark skin so i'll be going over that with this light brown shade called cynthia this one here i'll be going over that line so i'll be using a small small brush just to make sure that it doesn't like spread over my lids So far so good it's looking all right then i'm gonna go over my entire lid and over that line that i've just applied with this shade called evolve it's a very muted gold shade in the same palette so i'll be going over my entire lids and that line with the shade up the edges and give it more definition and neatness along the side i'm going to go in with this shade called delightful it's a very very dark brown shade in this same palette it's called delightful so i'll be using that with a small fluffy brush just along the outer edges of my eyes which is naturally does this so perfectly well it draws out her eyes and makes it look really foxy and really gorgeous so i'm just doing that So far so good it looks great i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some liquid liner just along my upper lash line to add to the definition so 
I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eyes off camera and come back now for my bottom lash line I'll be going in with the same browns that I used um, up here and I'll be going in first with the dark shade called delightful the very very dark one I'll be applying that along my lower lash line Uh, I'll be using the lighter brown shade which is called Cynthia the one I used um, first in my crease so I'll be applying that under that first color just to blend it out So I'm going to wear the lashes off camera because I don't want to do all that struggling in front of you. I don't want lashes in a very very long time so I suspect that this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. So I'll be back. So the lashes are in. I look and feel weird because like I said I don't normally wear forces. But yeah, this look required it and I wanted to go all out. Anyway, now that I'm done with that, I also went ahead to do a little bit of contour. I don't have a nigerian or black owned um, contour products so i just use one of my samples in case you didn't know i have my own beauty brand my own makeup and skincare brand and we launched last year the name is called mini beauty i'm going to leave every detail in the description bar and also here on screen so you go on instagram and follow us so yeah we are black owned nigeria owned small makeup beauty startup so go ahead and please support me anyway so i've used one of the samples i'm forever testing products so i used one of my contour um, samples to try and do my face since i didn't have any black or nigerian owned contour product for my highlights i do have a nigerian brand this one is from flawless ivy in case you can't tell yet i love flawless ivy they have such a great range of products and this is their illuminator for face eyes and body in the shade fl05 so is this one here yeah, it's a very um golden like a deep golden highlighter that's refusing to focus for some reason <laughs> yeah okay here we go so this is um, what the shade looks like it's a dark rich warm gold color they have quite a bunch of shades um you know on their highlighter range but this is what i'll be using today because it suits what i'm doing so i'm just applying that very very lightly it's a very pigmented um highlighter loose highlighter so you know how those loose highlighters can be if you're not careful they can become too much very very easily so i'm just going very very light-handed and building up where and if i need to so the face is almost done now i'm just going over my whole face with my iman second to non-luminous foundation powder um so this powder is really super super rich and has some sort of shimmer in it very very light and muted so i'm just going to go over my entire face with the same sponge and for my blush i'll also be using one of my samples i don't have any nigerian or black on blush so i'm just applying that along the apples of my cheeks so to wrap it up i'm just going to go ahead and do my lips i'll be using the zyron cosmetics lip pencil in cappuccino it's the neutral universal brown that i always use so i'm just applying that all over my lips I've preached about Zaron lip pencils for so long. I'm hoping everybody by now, if you're in Nigeria or anywhere in America, I think you can get Zaron Cosmetics lip pencil. They are super, super affordable, super quality, soft, pigmented, all of that good stuff. They're one of the best lip pencils I've ever used. So if you don't have, and they have such a wide, um, broad shade range. So from browns to blues to blacks to oranges, they have everything. So check them out in case you've not bought. 
and then i'll be following it up with the mini beauty ultra gloss in the shade g2 is from my makeup brand so check us out at mini beauty on instagram and you can purchase our products anywhere in nigeria so this shade is called g2 it's a muted shimmery nude brown gloss that i really love it's such a complimentary shade for most people especially if you have dark skin this particular formula is super soft so blending this is such a dream soft pigmented it gives you coverage it lasts and yeah this is how it looks on my lips with the brown cappuccino pencil super super natural and nice and glowy so the look is more or less done the final last step is something very very ratchet and a little controversial but i like to do it because i like the way it makes my face look i'm going to put a little bit of the pons oil control powder just very lightly dusted all over my face with a huge powder brush many people might not agree to this but i like the mattifying finish it gives my makeup and it makes my face stay matte for a very long time remember that i have oily skin so this step kind of helps my makeup stay i like the way it looks you know and that's it that's the final look brown bronzy nude glam made with mostly black owned nigerian owned makeup products and if i must say so it looks gorgeous and i don't see any difference i don't see any gap in quality so everything looks nice everything looks clean and glam and i really love how the entire thing came out the sculpted eyes that i wanted to do i'm not sure if i got it exactly but it's super close to what Nikki makeup does i believe i came really close even though it's not exactly how she does hers but yeah i like how it looks it gives my eyes a little bit of sculpting like a much more flattering kind of cut crease it's not cut crease but it's still very very defined which i really like i did mention in my unpopular opinion video that i hate cut crease i hate the technique i hate the look but this is something that i can wear so in case you like that sculpted defined eye look maybe you should check out this technique and it looks super super cool anyway this is the look so let me know what you think about this look in the comment section i'll be responding there and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do that before you go just hit that red subscribe button that says subscribe just hit that button and join my tiny little growing family i really really appreciate it okay thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you in my next video Bye bye